Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. So, we're gonna try that last run one, maybe two more times, give or take. Uh, but I'm gonna try and start mixing it with other things. I really, really want that triple beam to work on the Shard Diffractor. I think that has so much potential. I'm not going to skimp on the Thunderstorm Auto Cannon. I'm gonna try to avoid maxing it out. Uh, or I'm gonna try and prioritize other guns. But if this game just decides that you're getting the Thunderstorm Auto Cannon, then I guess I just have to accept that that's the, the grim reality I'm now faced with. Or we just get a bunch of like absolutely obscene upgrades for it and just have to, no, don't aim that direction, you pants. All right, whatever. Uh, job. The problem is right now, I really wish, oh, you know what would be a, an incredible upgrade for the Thunderstorm Auto Cannon is like just a, not even a rare upgrade, just like a, a small crit bonus or something. Uh, we might, we might just eat it here due to forces only slightly within my control, maybe. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I want, I want the Thunderstorm Auto Cannon to have a, um, an upgrade that gives it a, a, a red sight, a red line, um, a laser pointer effectively attached to it, so you know exactly where it's aiming. This blows? Yeah, the problem is the shard diffractor is uh, pretty capped out as, as just a kind of default thing. But we have to, we have to get this. There's no way around it. I do not like it when, um, there it is. I do not like it when the supply drop is currently blocked by something tough. Do we want to go for the nitro mining? Yeah, let's go for the nitro mining. That's probably the most valuable of them. Let's just paint job this a bunch, adds more piercing. Let's get some movement speed up in here. This, this boy's kind of slow to begin with. And some pickup radius. Much as I want to up that shard diffractor, let's not be too silly here and deny ourselves really good upgrades that I would like to get. I just, I I don't want to always run Thunderstorm Autocannon. In fact, I actually wish the heavy weapons up, uh, the heavy weapons builds came with like the missile launcher or, I mean, once again, I think I just wish you could start with different weapons. I'm gonna just get beating, keep beating that drum for like forever, just because I think it's actually one of the biggest things holding this game back in terms of fun potential. Um, maybe not balance, but like once the time, once you get up to Hazard Five, I don't think there should be as much focus on not balance, but limiting players. I think it should be very much like the world is your oyster. Oyster, however, it also wants to punch you in the teeth. I'm not big on hard games generally, just because I find hard games to be kind of unsatisfying. However, uh, it's just, I mean, it's fine. We're just gonna come out of here with less golds than I'd normally like. I guess this works out. This is bad. I mean, I'll take it. Go for the grit chance. Um, I was hoping I could get the boom boy to just explode on me. Well, not on me. Ow. Well, it succeeded. I got my wish. Uh, let's go for loosen bolts. Because, yeah, we still haven't maxed this thing out ever. And I'm quite curious to see what that looks like. Ooh. All right, we got out of there with 120 gold, 50 nitra. Did not get the whole map, but I'm gonna say I'm happy with it. Damage at the cost of lifetime. I think that's exactly what that gun needs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go for that one. Problem is it's giving me a hell of a lot of 
gun upgrades when I really need to spend gold on things. It's fine. So we got a lot of digging speed, which is huge. We've got an okay amount of movement speed. What's my, what's my mining speed at? 51%. That's a good feeling. I wish that translated to um, loot bug popping speed, or maybe it does. I've I've never verified because I don't I don't do the well I don't time it. It feels like it should, but it's kind of hard for me to check. Okay. Grab the Apocalypse Blooms. I guess I might as well grab at least one or two of these red sugars just for the sake of it. The real goal is just to get the Shard Refractor up to maximum if I can today. Because we tasted it. It was like seconds of... of what it could possibly become. And I know, I know it could be incredibly cool. I don't think I like the status effects tied to it, just because I feel like that has a lot of potential to be boring or just outright bad. Well, go for the gold. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go for that? No, we want to get we want to get the shard diffractor up. I like the paint jobs; they're they're good enough. You know what would actually be really neat? Once you reach Hazard 5, you get the ability to make a custom class. You know, so you have whatever whatever your, your like, base role is. So Digger is better at mining. Gunner is just tankier, does more damage. Uh, let's see. Ionizes Plasma. No, let's just go for the damage and the reload speed. Because this thing, this thing pops. If the reload speed on it is is virtually in, uh, instant, then it uh, shreds. Do I want to do a corrosive sludge pump? Hell yeah. Look at that beam range right from the get-go. I was considering going for the, the cold, but... I'm not convinced that that's amazing. Oh, there's a pocket balloon there. We'll probably get another one. Um... Let's see, what was I going to say? I don't know. The cold beam's nice, but it's kind of unreliable. The cold explosions, though. Hmm, that's good. Uh, so what I was going to say for the custom class thing is have it be kind of like a, a point total, a uh, point buy, where you have X amount of points to pick a perk. Uh, if, you, if you've if you ever played, like, Master of Orion, for example, or... Oh, I'm trying to think of other good examples of this, where you have a certain amount of points that you can, you can devote to like starting perks that that modify how your faction or in this case how your your weapon works um or your weapon your your class uh custom class works set that off grab some more experience i'm just gonna do a quick loop back here grab some of that let's go for some damage unfortunately Get over here. Fortunately, that's a lot of enemies just kind of on my butt, but it's fine. And we're not doing that much damage to the bosses, but I think that's fine. Let's make sure we're on the other side so they're more likely to dig through it. Okay, so far so good. Go reload speed, all heavy weapons. I want that experience though. I think I'm going to loop back. We've pretty much seen the whole level. So at this point, it's probably better that I just grab all the experience I can. Uh, but yeah, so say if you want to get, like, weapon only, that costs five points. If you want to get, like, some kind of base stat point. Uh, or weapon class only, that costs so much. If you want to get uh, some kind of stat bonus, it it depends on what kind of the stat, what the kind of stat bonus you're looking for is. Um... And it could be kind of this, like, point-by system of, like, hey, uh, you have points equal to whatever your, your current role is. Um, 
And I straight up, it could be the Deep Rock Galactic, like, base perk system, kind of, sort of, but... Well, yeah, actually, it's just that. But some of those are specifically, like, determine what your starting gun is. Or determine if you've got, like, a, a set weapon class. Or, uh, yeah, small stat bonuses or weird perks. You know, maybe it's really expensive, but one of the perks is straight up you have four options whenever you pick an upgrade. Or four options when you pick an up upgrade and four options when you pick a... Um, uh, a weapon, and maybe those are those are separate. And so, if you want both of them, it's kind of expensive, but maybe it's worth it to you. Uh, I think that would be an extremely good way of solving some of the foundational issues that I'm having with this game, uh, without really breaking the balance too much, and would very quickly. I don't want to say change the game for the better, um, but I I think it would give it an obscene amount of replayability having the ability to specifically have a custom class. There's a shooter back there, but he's almost dead. I can't hit him. I deserved that. I was just pissed because he was like near dead and then he just walks off and it's like, oh, come on. I think that run was okay. Shard Refractor was doing a ton of damage. Uh, so like I said, we do one more time. I think that run had some legs. I think the big issue is I was too focused on trying to make a point and not focused enough on actually beating the run. So I wasn't paying attention to how much health I had. We don't run, run, throw runs here, but sometimes I pratfall straight into, what was it called a pratfall? Sometimes I just like magoo my way. In. No, it's not a magoo. Sometimes I just get sloppy. I think it's because like so much of this game is becoming reflexive for me. Uh, maybe in a bad way. I'm trying to think of good examples of this. Games where... Nah, let's go for the starting reload speed. The other stats are good, but right now this gun's biggest weakness is the fact that it takes a solid, like, two to three seconds before it fires again. I think what we needed on that last run was some more luck. We were getting a lot of common upgrades. And that, that inherently just feels bad to me. Okay, right. It's pocket blooms. I think also maybe no sludge bump. Maybe we, maybe we do need something else that's a little bit more... Come on, Thunderhead autocannon. Oh, it was still firing. It was just firing in a useless direction. I was waiting for it to pick a new angle, but I think it was shooting the rocks. Yeah, let's start with the breach cutter. Because, yeah, if I can get the breach cutter to be overpowered, I bet that has a lot of... Ugh. 10 gold every 10 seconds to increase damage by... 100%. That's... I think one of the worst possible options I've ever seen. Like, the extra, extra damage is nice, but... What it should do is... Chart, like... Maybe gets rid of money? Or maybe skills damage based on how much... Uh, I don't know. I just, like, you only get 100 gold on a run, and you kind of need those upgrades. I don't know. I, no matter what, it feels weird and bad to me, and I don't like it. More beams? More beams. Okay, the elites have already showed up, which is probably bad for me. We haven't gotten all the Apocablooms, and we have most assuredly haven't gotten all the stuff. And unfortunately for me on this level, it's... Wow, okay. This run does feel like it really wants me to max out the Breach Cutter, which I'm pretty big on. Okay, we're just going to boogie for a bit.
Okay. Grab those. There's the shard diffractor. Okay, boss is down. Not exactly the perfect exit here. But it's actually not bad. Okay, let's go for some movement speed. The mining speed is nice. I'm not actually sure why I'm picking up all this red sugar if it's gonna cause me to take more damage. I don't know, brains elsewhere today. Too much sun, too many birds. Do I? No. Let's reroll, see if I can get something better. Okay, I like these options. Uh, it's, do we go for the lifetime beam damage? Sure. Let's go for that reload speed and damage. Yeah, I think this has got some interesting legs now. Refine level and the bre breach cutter. I think the breach cutter is a more reliable um, starting weapon. Well, starting weapon. Uh, it's a more reliable starting weapon compared to the Shard Diff Diffractor. Uh, I like both of them just in terms of their interesting potential. They just... Uh... Let's see. How would I describe it? I think the Shard Diffractor is harder to make use of. And it scales more awkwardly. Okay, what does this get me? Damage and reload or shock enemies? Go for the damage and reload. What? What is going on? Okay, whatever update they did, there are points where your character will actually get stuck in a mining animation in a direction, I've noticed. And I don't know why this has started happening recently. Um, but so I will be like pushing against the rock trying to um, trying to mine my way out but my character will be not mining lifetime now let's go for the paint job on the shard diffractor because end goal somewhat is to get both of these to maximum if I can okay get up here Actually, clear this out if I can. Ooh. There's two of those. I have some doubts about my ability to survive that. We still haven't gotten our Morkite, or like much of anything. Hazard 5's kind of rough. Okay, there we go. Uh, did that just kill both of them? Shit. How much more kite do I need? Five more. I think I can do it. Genuinely, I think probably one of the worst payouts I've ever had on the level. But what am I going to do about it? I think I'm just going to grab both of these. Shock or burn? I have no idea which is better. Go for that lifetime. Uh, let's see. 
And unfortunately, my brain is going to topics that I can't talk about. Uh, when I've, uh, no, I don't know. I guess I've kind of talked about these things enough, maybe. Um, when I've played a game enough that it's no longer exciting for me, I usually start defaulting to rambling about stuff. Usually life stuff, just because life is easy to talk about. Unfortunately, um, in my case, like, one of the things that happened today was, like, something bad happened to a person that I don't like. Uh, I don't know the person. I've just never liked them. Uh, I pass them not infrequently, like, every, every couple of months, or maybe even weeks or something, I'd see them on the street. And... Every time I even, like, had a base interaction with them... Oh, God. Got stuck on me for a second. Every time I'd have a base interaction with them, I did not like them. Um, no. Yeah, I was just pushing against it, and I wasn't mining. I That was not my fault. I was pushing against the rock, and my character was, like, moonwalking backwards and not mining. That's a weird bug. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. I gotta go check check something. Where are we at milestone wise? We're very close. It's this. One more level. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time and then we will try something else. I was doing well. Ki kind of? No, I wasn't. I, that was actually kind of bad. Um, I think this run has some trouble getting off the ground because the, the build isn't very homogenous. Uh, you need kind of one damage type so you can get all of your damage types, uh, damage, damages together. And I don't think I've seen, like, bonus damage for medium guns. But then also we do have this, like, weird mining bug that we've started running into today. Uh, that cropped up recently and I'm not actually sure what its deal is. I probably should have gone for crit damage there in retrospect. Anyway, so for this bad person, it you know, I go walking and effectively they go they go by. Uh let's see. There's the Thunderhead auto cannon. But so I found out today that the the person that I don't like uh actually got injured. Um Well, breach cutter again. Sure. I want to go for that reload speed, but we do want to get the breach cutter up a level or two, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so they got injured. Uh, doing something impossibly stupid. Or impossibly stupid? Incredibly stupid. Impossibly stupid means that they would have, wouldn't have would have been able to do it, but no. It was... They got injured doing the thing that I hate them for. Um, and I'm kind of in this weird position where I like... I feel kind of bad for being kind of... Haha, ha, serves you right in regards to this issue. Shoot sideways, you worthless gun. Well, it's shooting sideways. There it goes. The fact that I was able to cruise through that is wild to me. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so they were they were doing something stupid and just got hurt for it. Uh, to the point where it was in the news. Uh and so I'm, I've kind of been going back and forth on like, you know, should I feel happy about this? The, the word is schadenfreude. Uh, and I always struggle with schadenfreude because like some part of me likes the idea of bad things happening to bad people. Or at least people that could have chose, chose a different path but didn't do so. Uh, having some level of effective karmic justice feels good because it kind of affirms that like hey being a good person is its own reward because the bad things that happen to bad people are bad enough that um let's see the bad things that happen to bad people are bad enough that it's you know it it confirms my bias of hey just being like a, a chill dude uh was the right course of action all along I was kind of the same way in high school. You know, I was the unassuming nerd kid that wouldn't do too much. Uh, you know, no drinking, no drugs, that kind of stuff. Um, and still am. You know, that, that hasn't really changed. I used to drink some amount, um, kind of back in the early days of this, early, early days of this channel. At some point during this channel, 
Uh, oh, well, here's the mother load of all that stuff I want. Okay, I'm gonna just set him off. Let's go for the corrosive sludge bump. There we go. Had I been paying attention, I could have maybe got grabbed that magnet too, but I think it showed up too late. Yeah, that would have been good. But again, max level on this is kind of hard, so it doesn't matter. Um, but -ba 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 -ba. grab that reroll. Yeah, it would have been nice to go for some of those, maybe. But so I've been kind of going back and forth on this this person that I don't like and thinking, you know, I mean, baseline, if they got hurt for something unrelated, maybe it's not as bad. Uh, or maybe I would feel worse for them because then it's just like, you know, what can you do? That's that's where the sympathy comes in. But it's like, what's a good example? Um... Well, I remember, uh, I remember in high school, you kind of have your classic people who are like, yeah, I don't need to pay attention in school. I don't, I don't need to take notes or anything. They'd always be the ones like most panicked about tests and whatnot. And it was always, you know, there was that kind of like low level, like, hey, uh, maybe it's a good thing to actually try in school. The odd part is now. <laughs> Nowadays, I'd, I'd maybe question my, my ethos on that one because some amount of schooling is maybe not that helpful for a lot of people, uh, even on my own end. Like, I went to school for art, art college, and I think I'd actually, um, s say skip it. Like, if you're considering going to art school, maybe don't. Uh, which is an odd thing to say because, you know, I used to be a huge proponent of art school. Very much it's the, um, it's not the teachers that are the good thing about art school generally sometimes you can have a good teacher usually it's your peer group and the work ethic you learn um but if you can figure out a work ethic of your own and you're you're wanting to be an artist maybe it's a that's a different deal uh let's just go for the mine get gold i don't know if this is the edge of the in uh, level it is the edge of the level and i have now kind of trapped myself in it I think we'll be okay. Um, let's go for the 9% mining speed. Back. But so, uh, well, I mean, I guess a, a different kind of academic schadenfreude. I remember uh, digital illustration is legitimately kind of difficult learning how to paint in like Photoshop, for example. Um, it's not really made for it. People have figured out how to make it work, and it works well. Like, people make careers on this stuff. Um, me, kind of. Um, not anymore, but, you know, for a while, that's what I was going to do. Uh, Okay, the elites are up. I think we've cleared a tremendous amount of this, but it's hard to tell. The Thunderhead auto cannon annoys me a little bit here, just because. Still wish these levels were on this gun, maybe. Um, but I remember there was kind of a period of time at the beginning of uh, sophomore year of college, where uh, all of all of the illustrators were finally kind of in classes together uh, with actual illustration pro professors. Um, Prior to that, we were actually uh, in kind of like a, a generic. Well, oh man, you know now that now that I'm thinking about it, there are there are layers to this. Let's just go here. Um, crit chance. Eh, let's go for overall reload speed. I don't think we need the experience gain. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Kind of in the beginning of sophomore year, we we're all finally together as illustration student students rather than being split up across like a ton of different disciplines, which is a bit of a shame because like I actually did have some interesting friends from like industrial design and graphic design and whatnot that I more or less lost contact with because uh, I was no longer in any classes with them and wasn't close enough to them to like 
form a lasting friendship. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of fun to take classes with him and get different um, viewpoints and whatnot. Lifetime, reload. Let's go for the reload speed. A couple of my best weapons are very reliant on reload speed. And maybe that's part of the issue that I've been running into with the Shard Diffractor, is that it's not one of those. And so I've been deprioritizing stats that I maybe need more of than I thought. I don't know. Um, but so kind of at the beginning of this, uh, this year or sophomore year, I was hanging out with a number of them to like study and do work. And that was like kind of the express reason why we were all hanging out together. Um, and it slowly moved away from being like, hey, let's do homework together to, hey, let's do parties. And... You know, at first it was kind of fun. We'd do homework for a while, and then it would be like, hang out. And then alcohol started getting involved, and that started to suck a little bit. And then it started moving hard, uh, like, heavily away from doing homework together to people just getting together to party. Um, to the point where no one was, you know, the, the homework party beforehand was over. Nobody was doing it. So I'd show up, do some work, and then eventually leave because... Uh, it wasn't exactly a conducive environment for me to do uh, work in. Let's see, damage of all my weapons? Sure. Do I want that? Yes. Can I afford it? Yes. Well, let's just go for the fire rate. Kill its accuracy. Can't get that. Yeah, let's go for the crit rate and call it a day. So we've maxed out the thunder Thunderhead autocannon, which is the one thing I kind of wish I wasn't doing here, but... At least we've got, like, a halfway decent gun to work with. Anyway. Uh, as part of this year, so I'm the only one who's doing homework, and eventually I say, well, this is no longer a con uh, good environment for me to get work in. I'm going to go seek out a different friend group. Um, and so I I moved on. I switched. Boy, actually, this, is, this specific thing is, like, very applicable to, like, a ton of circumstances in my life. The problem is, like, the answer goes back to, like, eh, hard work actually is its own reward in a lot of cases. Um, but also, it does kind of also, also lead to the unfortunate realization that it's, like, hustle culture also works. Uh, or maybe not hustle culture so much as just, like, overworking yourself heavily uh, can be quite practical, but also very unhealthy. Okay. Lifetime? No, let's go for the movement speed. The problem is, I'm near death already, and we're only on floor three, which is usually a bad place to be. Oh, at least we got rid of the, um, Macdera, or whatever its name is. I don't know. I don't know how I've forgotten the name of one of the enemy types in this. Okay, step away from that. Don't die if I can. Ow! Uh, let's see. Shard Refractor, just damage. Even if I want to get to that, I'm going to die getting to it, so let's not. <sighs> but so, instead I found, like, a, a quiet workplace with um, a bunch of the, like, illustration upperclassmen, uh, which actually was quite nice. And everybody was, like, working together kind of quietly. Somebody would throw in music. Sometimes it was me. Sometimes it was other people. Um, I think this is in kind of the early days of Bluetooth, so there was, like, a Bluetooth speaker you could connect to, and that was really nice. I mean, Bluetooth had been around for a while, but... Uh, the mass availability of Bluetooth speakers was less so. Um, but yeah, so it was kind of a pleasant, like, quiet working environment for me to be in. And I spent a lot of time, like, just hanging out and working in this space. And the party people that I had kind of, I mean, ditched, is the real answer, uh, slowly drops, not out of the program, like, they graduated with me, but there was definitely that feeling of, like, we were no longer on the same wavelength, which is fair. They had different priorities and 
they could do what they want. But it was a little bit of a shame just because, like, they were actually kind of decent uh, at the start, but college kind of uh, chewed them up and spit them out in a, in a way that made it impractical for them to um, become decent artists. Ow. Okay, boss is about to go down, but I think I can buy myself enough time to get this gold at the very least. And then we've pretty much toasted all of these guys. Ton of beam damage? No. We want to get this one. Burning enemies? Shocking enemies. I do wish there were other options that didn't involve uh, status effect damage, just because not the most keen on it. But whatever. Okay, go for the crit chance? Yeah. This is my crit chance. 61%. I guess we don't have a whole lot of nitro to work with. Um, but it was always kind of... How to describe it? Because it wasn't satisfying seeing people like that fail. I actually always felt kind of bad about it. But it was one of those where I was constantly just saying like, Hey, you just got to keep practicing. You'll get there. It's not even that bad. And there was the constant kind of pushback of like, No, it's too hard. I can't do it and I don't want to do it. And it was just kind of like... It sucked to be in that position because I wanted to help my friends, but it also was like, there's nothing I can do. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. I think that's the phrase. Um, and it's kind of felt like that in a lot of cases. Uh, even like more, well, I don't want to say topically, but for YouTube, um, some of the people I knew in like the early days, like... You probably, if you watch my channel now, you probably have never seen videos with these people in it. They're so old. Uh, unless you really have gone back like 10 years worth of videos and you've found like the really edge case collabs where I worked with one person once for like, I don't even know, Rust or something. I don't even know if my Rust video has ever made it up. I didn't like Rust that much. It wasn't very fun. Um, but so... That's a lot of carnage behind me, which is good because I kind of need it. Okay. Uh, holy shit, there's a lot of them. How the hell did I do this previously? I'm gonna just run that gap. Scoot it. Nope, don't get shot. Hopefully we get a magnet here. I could use it. Um. But some of the early people that I worked with on YouTube could be quite resentful. Um, how to describe it? It gets very rat racy when you only have a couple dozen or a couple hundred subscribers. Uh, I think it's very rat racy all the time. Uh, though it gets less so once you're comfortably doing YouTube professionally, just because it's like once you're stable, you kind of stay stable unless you really goof it or the algorithm changes and wrecks you. Um, but so I found, like, most people that have gotten to the point where they can... They're either doing YouTube full-time or they can do YouTube full-time. They kind of hit a, a zen state where it's no longer as negative as it used to be. Um, but so I remember losing a couple of... They weren't friends, um, but losing a couple of contacts because there was growing resentment over, like, channel sizes and whatnot. And... Um, it was always kind of one of those where it's just like, hey, the answer is like right here. It's actually really, it's not easy to grow a channel. I think it's actually quite difficult. But the the answer of how to do it is just find a niche and get very good at that niche and make sure that niche is not specifically over dominated by like, or that niche is not oversaturated. You can't just have your niche be the thing that everybody else is doing. Uh, so like, a good example of that. Like, uh, diving in big on the latest survival sandbox game that everybody is, like, bananas for. You know, that can work, uh, especially if you're doing something interesting or unique. Uh, Let's Game It Out is probably, a, a, probably one of the better examples of this, uh, where it's a combination of natural talent, uh, as in the dude is quite funny, um, but he switched... He switched from being a um, a generic Let's Player, like a duo Let's Play channel, um, to 
being a, um, like, a, I do really funny over-the-top videos on, like, building, uh, building games. And so that specific transition worked out really well for him, because even though his channel started, uh, generic without much to really, uh, set it apart from the rest, ooh, we are going to die if I keep this up. Here's the problem, I'm gonna die just getting out of here. I'm 50, level 51, so I probably don't need the experience from any of this. It'd be nice, it could put me over. Okay, I can take exactly one hit. Never mind, the mining shuttle has less of a hitbox than I thought. Ah, there's some gold there, but whatever, I'll live. Hopefully I'll live. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Don't like any of the, I like some of these. So let's grab that one. That's a lot of, that's a lot of beams? I'll take it. All right, final level. I don't think we're gonna win this one. We might. I've maxed out, this is my crit chance, 53%. It's, it's acceptable. Uh, I've maxed out two weapons. I've got a third kind of getting there. Chances, chances are the corrosive sludge bump is in no way, shape or form gonna hit maximum. Those plasma beams, though, do have a certain something something about them. I think our big big problem is we didn't focus hard enough on damage. I usually just pick whatever is available. We did get the um, reload speed to be really low, so our fire rate's great. So I don't know. It it might make uh, it might do well. But so quite often. Uh, I'd kind of have these conversations. Uh, I remember one guy who was mad at me because <sighs> lifetime of the beam, no, damage and damage and reload speed. Uh, I remember one guy getting mad at me because they were trying to stream Dark Souls 1, but they weren't very good at it, and they were trying to do like a watch me rage at this game, which is, uh, I, I don't know, this is probably a, maybe a little bit too much like behind the curtains, uh, but there was kind of this idea that being bad at a game and angry about it was somehow an attractive. I think a lot of people wanted to be AVGN, kind of, sort of, or, um, oh shoot, Michael from Achievement Hunter, uh, whatever his, like, game, rage game, ah, I forget the name of his, his, like, channel and shtick, um, before he got acquired by Achievement Hunter, but, uh, the idea of, of being angry and kind of boorish about a game. Uh, I saw a lot of people trying to really like push this, like watch me rage at this game. Uh, weirdly enough, bad market. There's like a couple of channels that can do quite well with that. Most of the time, most people don't like to watch somebody being angry about a game. I think even my last episode probably lost me some long-term viewers for this just because I was too busy being uh, slightly pissed off about some design decisions and like it's a turn off whereas having somebody that is like very skilled at the game and having a good time way more fun to watch that's why people like watching speedrunners though so speedrunners have a bit of a maybe too niche issue i don't know this is probably all uh this is probably all just too behind the scenes uh but i'd have conversations with people where it'd be like hey you know this angle that you're trying to create for yourself it's not working and it's not going to work and you might want to consider something else and instead it switched to very much a uh you know how dare you which i it makes sense you know you don't want feedback if you're not looking for it even if it might be exactly the thing you need uh to succeed at what you're doing so i remember having one friend who had been like streaming dark souls and weren't having the best time of it. I think the game was frustrating them. Maybe it was even bugging out. And the viewership on it was not very good. Like, 10 viewers, which is more than a lot, uh, more than what a lot of people get. So there is kind of that, like, baseline. Well, actually, there's, there's, uh, you know, getting up to 10 viewers is actually pretty good. And, like, from my own perspective, I didn't start streaming on Twitch until I had 10 guaranteed viewers I could rely on, uh, specifically through just my YouTube channel, uh, which was like a thousand YouTube subscribers. And I bet I could have leveraged that to get even more, but I'm just, you know, I don't want to bo bother people, which is probably bad for me. 
Okay, so this is actually... Oh, no. It happened again. Yeah, whatever that get stuck mining animation is, that's actually super deadly because there's no feedback on it. Your character just stops moving for a moment or mining for a moment. And that's rough. Okay, let's not be there. The one problem is there's a fair bit of rock left, which is kind of good, bad. Okay, pickup radius. No mining range. I don't actually know what range means for these beams. It might not actually affect them in retrospect. Um, but yeah, so they're having a bad time streaming a bunch of Dark Souls. Whoop, that was close. Ooh, that hurt. Something did get me. I don't think it was the boss, because it probably would have done way more than 100 damage to me. Uh, but so they were streaming Dark Souls while I was doing artwork. And I'm a trained illustrator, so like, me doing artwork, or me making art is at least somewhat impressive if you've never done much artwork for yourself before, and I was doing like a Vig my Vigante thumbnail. And I guess they got wind that I was streaming it, and like, took a look at it and had Kind of a bit of a breakdown because for them, uh, having custom arts and playing roguelikes was their thing. Because this is like in the early days when there were like maybe, maybe 10 YouTubers that consistently played roguelikes. It was me, Biznap, uh, pretty much everybody from the NLSS. Um, okay, maybe not everybody, but you know, some amount of that crew. Um, why am I picking up experience from him? We just want to finish this run. How did I live? How did this run do well? What the heck? I'm not even here. Um, but yeah, so they, they had like a quiet free cut session and more or less ended our friendship because I was, uh, I'm not sure. I think I was, I was, uh, taking their, their role and they didn't like that. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can go to engineer. We want to just go for maintenance work. Because I should be able to get those seismic things. Oh, you know what? I don't want to... I don't want to do this. We're going to go on an easier difficulty. We're going to try and... We're going to do a roll down. Let's make this comical. Maintenance... What difficulty level did I pick? Hazard 5. Oops. We want to do hazard 1. Hazard 1. Engineer. Maintenance work. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to complete joke mode this one. I guess the one... Nah, screw it. The one problem with uh, Hazard 1 is the experience payout might actually be so bad that it takes longer than, like, Hazard 3. But whatever. Um, yeah, we just want to get those seismic things up. If I can. They should be a construct. If they're not, I'm going to be shocked. And then we'll re-roll as Heavy Gunner and try and make this work. Uh, but up 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 where am I on this one? Uh, but yeah, so they they freaked out because I was I was taking taking their their thing, which like your thing cannot be that that generic. I remember having another conversation with a YouTuber, uh, a prospective YouTuber. I don't think they'd gotten very far, but they wanted to do you know high end AAA, you know day of release um, uh, coverage. If that makes sense, but the problem is, like YouTubers like Radbrad, is Rad? I'm assuming Radbrad still exists. Um, but they were mad that larger channels like Radbrad and PewDiePie exist because, oh, I forgot about the Cryo Guard. Sure, let's actually level up a couple if I can. I want to get those seismic things maxed, but if I. If I can't, at least we'll get the cryo guard maxed. It's going to be a laughably easy level, but kind of what I want to do is get these up so they fire really fast and destroy terrain. Because I really like the idea of having these things just uh, destroying the landscape for me. With mass piercing bullets. And because we're on hazard one, nothing scares me. 
But yeah, there's like no mid bosses either. So this might actually just be uh, the cake, cake, cake walkiest cake walk ever. Oh well. It's fine. Um, but that, you know, there was kind of this lasting resentment, I think, amongst a, a lot of smaller YouTubers that bigger YouTubers exist and are therefore taking up all the airwaves so they can't. And the answer is, yeah, actually, that, I mean, that's, it is a valid thing to be annoyed by, but that's also just kind of life, you know. Boy, it would be, it sure would be nice to be the first YouTuber ever. You know, if there were no YouTube channels, like, we'd all be, oh, whoever starts a YouTube channel would, would more or less be instantly successful, as long as they have some modicum of, of skill and humor to kind of back themselves up with. Yeah, this might actually be too easy. To the point where, uh... I think, I think we might want to throw this run. Let's see, let's see how much experience I get out of this. Uh, no, I think we're fine. Uh, let's see. Now let's, let's try and max that weapon out at the very least. Because if I can get the cryo guard done, we've at least got that over and done with. Uh, hi. Can I get both of these? Yep. Let's see. That's good enough. We'll roll for more later. Um. That's... I don't know. I'm still stuck on schadenfreude as just like a concept. Because it's always... It always kind of feels bad in these situations where you, you sit down and you say like, Hey, you can't... You can't do this or you can't feel this way. Um, and then they're like, no, I'm going to do it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to jaywalk against, hi uh, jaywalk against, uh, across highways. Like, what are you doing in that situation? There it is. Seismic repulsor. Knock back enemies. Stand still to deploy turrets. Cool. So we can max both of these out in the same run. It's going to be a very basic run, but I do want to see how the seismic repulsors work. They fire really fast. We should check to see if they're affected by fire rate. I'm assuming they are. How did I ever lose any of these runs? I mean, meta progression probably actually matters a fair bit here. Um, I don't know. Okay, turrets explode. Turrets mine nearby walls. There we go. Destroy the land for me. Um, but, you know, when you see somebody making a very, like, intentional bad decision, there is some level of satisfaction when you see them getting punished for that. Or, you know, if they're even just, like, bitter and angry about something that they have no reason to be bitter and angry about. It's kind of just, like, serves you right. Um, and I always have trouble kind of reconciling these two things, because to some degree, like, it's mind poison. Um... Like, it's nice to feel smug and self-satisfied about, like, hey, this this one person did a bad, horrible thing um, and got smacked down for it in a really bad way. I remember uh, every once in a while, uh, oh, I think this was, like, a long time ago on Reddit. I, I was kind of addicted to reading stories on it. And I remember, like, an amount of... I, I'd spend an amount of time reading stuff like Petty Revenge or whatnot. Uh, I've long since stopped because it turns out that many of those stories are fake and also uh, just sad or mean. Like, there was kind of a rash of people writing things. And you could tell it was probably fake, but it was just like the meanest, uh, meanest, most like unfriendly um, fake revenge stories. And, like, if I'm going to read that, I might as well read a novel. I'm not going to read somebody's, like, attempt at uh, writing up their own, like, you know, and then I then I showed them all, and I was the right one. It's like, no. 
I, I think it was kind of the same way with like America's Funniest Home Videos when I was a kid. I'd watch it because it came on before Stargate, of all things. And so I'd watch an hour of America's Funniest Home Videos and then I'd watch Stargate. This is also Sundays. There was nothing on television on Sundays. I should have just been playing video games. You know, sometimes it was nice to watch a television show instead. Let's see. But I remember like the first couple months of me watching that show, it was fun and it was charming. You know, here's a bunch of pe stupid people doing stupid people things. And then bad things inevitably happen to them, falling off ladders or whatnot. And then eventually, I, I think it was, there was one specific clip of a person in a speedboat, you know, doing like speedboat racing kind of stuff. 20% damage? No, let's go for the mining speed. And then the reload speed. Reroll one more time, pick that up. You can roll down later. Um, but it was like an actual speedboat race, like professional grade. And the speedboat flipped over, and I think whoever the host was made a comment about them. You know, how embarrassing would it be to drown in five feet of water? And I looked it up because I was, you know, concerned. Like, did this person, were they fine? And the answer was yes, in this case, I think they were perfectly fine. Um, but other people doing the exact same thing had drowned in five feet of water because they had gotten trapped and nobody nobody was able to like fish them out in time um and it stuck with me that you know here's this thing that people like commonly die doing and they've put it in, into this television show to kind of make fun of people where it almost happened to them it didn't in this case but it's happened to other people and you know then I kind of I, I don't know if it was like, um, what is it? It's not Dunning-Kruger, it's, ah, I forget the name of it. It's, it's whatever that, that thing where once you've noticed a thing, you start noticing it everywhere. Dunning-Kruger is the one where, like, um, the smarter you are, I think the less you believe in yourself and vice versa. The dumber you are, the more you believe that you're true. Um, or, like, you believe that your positions are, are correct. So, like, for me, whenever I make uh, take a stance on something, it's very... It's generally well-researched because um, I do not want to be wrong. I didn't need the deep core PGL, but, I mean, this is... We're in laugh mode now. Um, I need to get, like, a cheat sheet of common, um, you know, Dunning-Kruger and uh, whatever this one is called. I can't, I really cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head. It sucks. I'm terrible at remembering names for anything. Um, but it was like once I noticed like, hey, this is kind of a cruel television show. Uh, I started noticing that it was a very cruel television show, like people falling off ladders, which is absolutely can and will get people killed um or uh having like trees almost fall on them because they're you know bad at being on ladders and you know that's that's very much something that kills people or like uh tree falling wrong and and bonking them but in a non-fatal way and then my dad's sitting there being like yeah no this could have actually just killed the man and i'm just like I'm suddenly no longer comfortable with this. And so it's one of those situations where it's like, it's really satisfying to see justice done, but I think it's too easy to immediately start craving it and trying to find it elsewhere. Um, I think it's very much like what drives witch hunts and whatnot in terms of like wanting to see the bad man suffer. Oh, we got that seismic generator up. Pretty quick. There we go. Okay, seismic repulsor is maxed, so we can do a good run with the seismic repulsor. I think it'll have to be the next run we do of this, uh, or next episode. My videos have been getting a little long, and I'm kind of behind, uh, just because been busy, sort of. Like 
today was 70 degrees Fahrenheit in March, which is insanely warm, which is terrifying. Uh, but also a really good day for being out, so we went out and got ice cream. And went to the library. I, I spent 10 years not going to libraries, maybe 15 years, you know, not getting anything from the libraries. And now it's become my, my own personal blockbuster, and it's amazing. Uh, the quality of this stuff we're picking up might not always be the best, but, like... Uh, I get to watch, like, movies that I would never pay for, uh, for almost nothing. Oh, oops, eh. I should have maybe picked this one up, but I don't even know if I care. Oh, right, and we need to roll down because this is... This is... Oh, it's not the final level. Whatever. Uh, but so, yeah, today I was at the library and just, like, we returned... We got uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which I thought was really bad. I did not like that movie in the slightest. Um, and then I just picked up uh, the two modern Jumanji movies, which I'm, I am absolutely certain are going to be beyond terrible. I almost feel like I should do some kind of like um, riff tracks thing where I just record like uh, audio commentary of myself talking over these movies, you know, show nothing of the movie just like hey press play now and then you know we just sync it up with where the movie's at and then you can just listen along i do feel like that might be a little bit too parasocial oh we're at 100 percent uh crit rate at this point well that explains why i'm doing so much damage maybe i have no idea if those seismic generators are even doing anything here I think the problem is, um, the problem is the, uh, Spitfire Plasma Launchers are doing so much more. Uh, let's roll. See if I can get, I guess I'll get some mining speed. We want to get this thing up. We're only level 37. That feels, oh, wait, no, we're not, we're not done yet. There's another level after this one. I got to remember that one. Uh. But yeah, I'm sure Jumanji is going to be terrible, just like Dial of Destiny was t terrible. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, but I didn't have to pay for this, and that actually feels kind of nice. There are some things that I, like, miss on streaming services, uh, but usually those I can either buy or just wait for. Or maybe at some point I'll just say, like, hey, I'm just going to sub to, you know, Net NetBO or you know, whatever the current streaming models are, because I... Didn't, like, HBO just decide that we're max now? I think they did. Um, but, you know, maybe at some point just say, like, yep, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to subscribe to this service for, like, a month or, month or so. They really want me to get that grenade launcher up. I'll have to do it for an explosive build, but that'll be later. Okay, mining for gold, whenever you mine a rock, sure. Why is this actually, like, one of the stronger runs I've ever done? I guess it's because I don't need to care and I go really fast, so I can just kind of chip through things really quickly. Uh, I'm just going to keep pushing that movement speed. There it is. Yeah, we only need one more level on that, and this is... I would consider this to be a wild success. I did feel kind of weird about Hazard 1 just because boring, but on the flip side, it's boring in a fun way. It's very zen, and it lets me focus on what I'm talking about rather than, like, having to specifically try about winning. Seriously, though, how did I ever have difficulties with this, this level? I mean, so much of it is just purely the meta progression makes a massive statistical bonus. You know, I have, like, base 20 armor or something like that right off the bat. And as a result, uh, most things can't hurt me in a meaningful fashion. How much movement speed? We could go for the pickled nitro on this run. Sup? Yeah, jerks, blow up for me. 
I'm actually fast enough that I can probably swing back a little bit. If it leaves without me, I'm going to laugh, and because I deserved it. Ooh, that was close. Okay, luck, lifetime, reload speed. Okay, we can... <laughs> it did not want me to spend this Nitra. It's fine. It does contribute to my 109%... Um, my 109%... Oh, that knockback from those seismic generators are actually really good. I put so many of them down. Good, good morning, egg. Farewell. I think the other thing is we haven't needed to worry too much about, like, pushing my damage up. And we got a lot of paint jobs. Uh, da, 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 da. what was I going to say? Um, bad movies. I mean, I was trying to do the schadenfreude thing, but I've somehow ended up going to the library. Uh, oh, right. I, the whole library thing was just in terms of, like, scheduling why I'm not going to try and fit in another run here. I, I think it's understandable that I'm not going to try and go for, like, another Hazard 5. We already got a big win here, so... At, at this point, I can do whatever the heck I want just for funsies. Uh, sure. Let's work on the grenade launcher. I was worried that the, uh, the lower overall horde counts would mean a lower level, and it really is. It's, I mean, it's 13 levels, but that can make a difference. But the casual nature of it means I can make only bad decisions and still win. Uh. <laughs> I think that is the fastest I've ever gotten the Dreadnought to spawn. Land on me, you sucker. You can't do it. I'm going to kill you with a supply drop. I killed it before the supply drop could drop. <laughs> Hazard 1 is hilarious. Oh, uh, let's get out of here. We got the things that we needed. I do want to look at my um, DPS charts, but I'm sure those LMGs very much were just by and far the king. Okay. And maybe maybe on a real run with actual overclocks. I, I bet the... I bet the... Uh, the seismic generators will do more. So, what do we want to do? We've got a couple... Overclocks we haven't unlocked yet. I guess which class should I focus on? The scout's pretty close, and they get their final gun at 24, which ain't bad. Heavy gunner's final gun is 27. Engineers is 27. 27. So, I guess what we should do is probably roll scouts uh, a couple of times. I think we're going to do NG, so I can get the... Uh, so I can try the ultimate construct build with the voltaic fence, the flamethrower turrets... The seismic generators, and then of course the LMGs, because I feel like the four of those together could be a really impressive combo. Dodge 100 times during a dive. Still haven't gotten that one. Should probably work on it. But for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.